what just happened. DJI just launched the DJI Ronin 4D, which is a full frame camera with a built-in four axis gimbal. This is revolutionary in our industry. DJI have taken everything you can possibly think of and merged into this beast of a gimbal camera with a price tag that is very affordable. So I've spent the last day deep diving into the specs of this camera to get a better understanding of who this DJI Ronin 4D is for. And if you don't know anything about me, I have a long history of working with gimbals and my channel is packed with amazing gimbal videos and tutorials. So I'm pretty confident that I know what to look for when it comes to gimbals and cameras. All right, so I don't have the Ronin 4D here, but I have been in contact with DJI and they will try to get me a review unit as soon as possible. But let's talk about the specs and the price of the Ronin 4D and determine who this camera is made for. So let's start off with the price of the Ronin 4D because this will determine if you have the buying power to afford this gimbal or camera or whatever it is. There are two versions of this camera, the 46K and the 48K. The Ronin 46K sells for $7,199 and the 48K sells for $11,499. So there's a difference of $4,300 between the 6K and the 8K. Unless you really need that 8K recording, I would go for the Ronin 46K because you will save a lot of money and you will still get really good image quality. All right, let's talk a bit about four axis stabilization and what this is. Because this is probably one of the most revolutionary things about this gimbal. Because this is one of the things that I teach within the Gimbal Academy. How do we stabilize the set axis, the up and down movement, which is yourself. But this all changes now because with the Ronin 4D, you now have the option to enable the set axis stabilization. And with that, we eliminate that vertical camera shake, which is the fourth axis of stabilization. And my God, this will come in handy in so many situations. When shooting sports, running, filming from cars, bikes, anything that has a lot of up and down movement. So normally we need a big crew, a lot of expensive equipment to be able to stabilize the set axis. So having this option built into this cinema gimbal camera is pretty mind blowing. So this will just change the way we see cameras forever. So if we take a closer look at the gimbal itself, it's pretty similar to what we know from the DJI Ronin gimbals, but there is a little difference in how it is built. They have added something that I think is really nice. They have added dual tilt motors on the 4D, which we know from the Ronin 2 and the Ronin M. And this just gives us overall better stabilization when we use the gimbal. Because on a normal gimbal, as you can see on this one, you only have one tilt mode on the side. So there is a bit more room for wiggling here, but if we had an extra motor on the other side, this will give the gimbal a much more stabilized performance. The Ronin 4D has locks on all axes, so you can easily balance the system as you normally would do on a standard gimbal. And when you have the Ronin 4D set up with everything ready to shoot, it only weighs about 4.7 kilos. And if we compare this to a fully rigged out cinema camera, with a gimbal, we can easily triple out that weight. So you will now get a full compact cinema camera with a built-in gimbal on the Ronin 4D. This is, you have said it before, it's, it's mind blowing. DJI added the Lydia focus module to this camera system, which is a very clever move because you can get a very accurate autofocus system that works pretty much with any lens. With the Lydia waveform, you will also get a top view of the actual focus point on the monitor that makes it super easy to pull focus manually. So I'm really looking forward to see how this works. And this is all controlled by the tip of our thumb on the remote on the side. 
All right, let's go with the monitors because they have added a nice 5.5 inch touch di touchscreen display to this gimbal. And I don't really know if I'm gonna call it a gimbal or a camera. So if you have any good suggestions for a word for this thing, please leave it down in the comment section. But the screen is the same size as my small HD, which I have right here. And this is the perfect size to put on a gimbal or a handheld rig. So I really love that they have added this size of a screen on this gimbal. So the screen has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and it's a thousand nits of brightness. This is great for most scenarios, but in direct sunlight, you might be able to add a screen protector on top to be able to see it clearly. I don't know, we have to see that in the future. So the next thing here is nine stops of built-in ND filters. Having a built-in ND filters is so valuable because this gives you more flexibility and you can quickly switch filters without having to finagle around with filters, put them in and out of your bag, switch them on, you know, you know how it is. It's just, it can be a pain in the ass. So having these built-in ND filters is just amazing. And the other benefit of having internal ND fillers is that you will put the ND filter before the lens and this will give us a much more clean image. So DJI of course also took wireless transmission to a new level so that you now can remotely control this thing with something called O3 Pro video transmission which gives us 20,000 feet of wireless trans transmission. This allows for a second operator to get full control of the gimbal and the camera at the same time. Normally you will need an expensive third party video transmission system hooked up to your camera and the gimbal to get the same kind of control. But with the Ronin 4D, they have built all this into this system. So go check out Potato Jet's video. I will link it down in the description because he talks a bit more about the video transmission and the wireless system that is built into the Ronin 4D. All right, before you fall off your chair, let's talk a bit about the lenses. The Ronin 4D has the X9 system, which is DJI's own camera system. They only have four lenses available at the moment, but you have the option to add an interchangeable mount. This will allow you to add M mount and E mount. So if you are a Sony shooter, you can use your Sony lenses on this system. DJI has added a full list of the lenses that this system supports, and I'll leave that down in the description as well. Lastly, who is this gimbal or this camera system actually for? So I see this system as for anyone who uses a gimbal a lot. For someone like me, this system really talks to me because having everything built into one system is really amazing. One camera pack with a gimbal, everything attached is something that I really, really think is an amazing and innovative thing. So if you're shooting weddings, you're shooting sports, anything with motion, this system is something that you, could, you should consider going for. But again, it has a price tag of 7,000 bucks. And that is a lot of money, but take into consideration if we were to go out and buy a red cinema camera with a big gimbal and everything of all the accessories that we need, we are talking not just tens of thousands, but 30 or $50,000 to get a system close to what you get in the Ronin 4D. All right, so that is a quick overview of what you will get in Ronin 4D. And I will, of course, leave a link to DJI down in the description. You can go pre-order this system if this is something that you are interested in. And I will also leave links to some of the other creators that has made some great reviews, which I think is worth seeing. All right, folks, that is it. I don't have any more for you. If this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion. And lastly, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, Go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.